Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I would like to show you how to draw this wonderful looking staircase in AutoCAD architecture. So if it's your first time on the channel, thank you for joining and if you haven't subscribed as yet, I don't know what you're waiting on, but you can do it now, hit the subscribe button and while you're at it, just hit the like button as well so that the YouTube algorithm can boost the channel, you know, boost the video and stuff like that. So yeah, I'd appreciate that. Let's jump right into it. No hesitation, no more waste of time. Okay, so before we jump into AutoCAD to do the design, let us take a look at this design and come up with a few assumptions. So we're going to assume that the height between level one and level two is 10 feet. The other thing we're going to assume is that the width between the edge of the step to where the curve begins would be three feet wide. And of course, we would have to give the the stairs are extra width to accommodate the curve here, maybe an extra one foot. So let's say the overall width of this will be four feet. All right. Let's also assume that the thickness of each step is three inches or maybe two and a half, but we'll use three inches for now. And the last thing we're going to do is to instead of having these vertical pieces uh, coming down straight, we're going to make them at a slight angle. And then if we have time, we, we can add these extra pieces of wood on the, on the side as well. But we'll see how far we can get with this. All right. So let's go over to AutoCAD where we will begin. So the first thing we're going to do is to click on our stairs tool. And I have a video on stairs already. So if you don't know the basic procedure of how to use this tool, I'm going to drop that video in the description below. So check it out. There's quite a few things to learn over there. All right. But the first thing we want to do is to draw our regular stairs uh, so that we can use that as a base model to work from. OK, that makes life very, very easy. So you're going to click on it. And then, of course, we need to make some changes over here. So the first thing we're going to do is to change the shape to a U shaped. And uh, I'm going to go down to the width. I'm going to make the width four feet. Okay, we remember that we're adding that extra foot to accommodate the curves. And then we're going to make the height 10 feet. And then we're going to make it so that it terminates with the tread. And our tread depth, we're going to leave that at 11 inches. I like that. And um, I think that's all we need to do what we're doing for now. So... In terms of the style, we're going to use this style and we're going to modify it so that we get exactly what we need. So don't worry about that. So let's go ahead and click on our first point and then I am going to turn my ortho mode on and click my second point over here. So one of the first things you want to do is to take a look at your stairs. All right. Looks about right. Um, one of the other things you want to do as well is to make sure that you set the stairs up exactly how you want it. Okay, so if this is how you want it, fine. But if it is not, then I would recommend that you make all the necessary adjustment before you move on. All right, so what I'm going to do here is probably move this in a little bit. I'm going to make this so that it has a six inch gap between the, 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 the runs. Okay, so I'm going to click on this box here, pull it in. And I'm going to tab through till I reach on that dimension there. And then I'm going to type six, enter. Good. So now the distance between here and here would be six inches. Let's do a little quick check to make sure. All right, that looks good. So that would be the first thing. The second thing would be to make some modifications to this stairs, uh, to the style. And so what I'm going to do is to highlight it, go to... Uh, edit and we're going to go over to components and we're going to turn the riser off we're going to make the thread thickness up to three inches that's what we agreed on sorry three inches nosing we're going to make that zero 
and the landing thickness we're going to also make that three inches i think that's all we need to do for this and we're going to hit ok and so this is what we're left with let me go to conceptual all right this is exactly what we want as a matter of fact this could be used as one of those modern designs so if you wanted to do a modern open riser design this is pretty much what you would do to obtain such a staircase all right anyways so far so good let's move to the next step so once we have everything looking good here one of the things you want to do is to make sure that if we go to the right view you want to make sure that these are lining up with each other so if you notice if i were to draw a line here um, these two steps would line up perfectly and likewise with these so let's go to the front view now in fact let's go to an isometric view I think it's easier to show you guys what I want to show you from an isometric view. All right. So if you look in the background, you'll see a grid layout. I wanted the grid to show because um, I, um, this part is a little bit hard to explain. So I'm going to try my best. So the grid that you're seeing here is what we would refer to as your coordinate system, working plane or the reference plane. All right. So from time to time, I'll interchange those words but it's the same thing so if you notice we have the world coordinate system what we want to do is to rotate this reference plane so that it is flat on the surface of this step okay so in order to do that we would have to go to view go to our coordinates here click on this drop down go down to the last option that says face click on it and then now all we need to do is to select the face that we want uh, that system to align to okay so we're going to click on that face and we're going to click on a random spot anywhere and we're going to hit enter and now you'll see that the grid is now aligned to the face of that tread okay and so we're going to have to do that for all of these to get the design anyways let's get to let's get to it so now that we have that out of the way, let's draw our first line. So I'm going to go home and I'm going to go to polyline and I'm going to draw a line from this edge to this edge to this edge to this edge. So this is our first line. As you can see, that's what that looks like. All right. Let's go back to front view. So now we need to move our coordinate system to the next step. So I'm going to do that again enter i'm going to draw my polyline from here to here down to the next one over to that one and so that's what we end up with all right looking good so far isn't it then we're going to move to the third step and i'm pretty much going to fast forward through the rest of these so that um i think you guys get the full gist of what's happening here now so I'm going to just pretty much move through. All right. So I have all of, uh, all of them done. So as we rotate, we can see that we have something that almost looked like what we need. <laughs> so far so good the only one that doesn't have one is this last one here and that's because i told the stairs to end with a tread so maybe i should maybe i should tell it to end uh terminate with the riser and that would take that away so that would be that last one there but yeah so far so good so let's go back to the front view here or top view in this uh coordinate system and what we're going to do is to apply some curves to these lines so i'm going to turn off this layer the steps so that we can see the lines by themselves and then i'm going to apply a curve so go to your fillet tool and we're going to make the radius uh, maybe 12 inches right or let's make it 10 inches rather and we're going to click on multiple because we have a lot to do so click on multiple and then we're going to start creating our curves.
can start to see it coming together here. And then we're going to do this side as well. All right, looking lovely. All right, beautiful. So as you can see, we have something looking like that. Pretty, pretty darn close, ain't it? <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do now is to turn back that layer on. So we're going to turn this on. And then we're going to rotate our coordinate system to the face of this edge here. So let's go to view, align to the face here, click enter. And now we're going to go to the to this side. So what we want to do now is to draw a profile of what we want the stairs to shape like. Okay, so let's begin with a regular rectangle. So I'm going to start with this shape here. But I kind of want to add a little extra something to it. I don't know what as yet, but let's bring this in one inch like that. And I'm going to add a little curve to here. 0.5. I'm going to add a little curve to the base of this of this step like that. Maybe another curve on this side. Let's see if we can do that. And um, you don't want to add a curve here because this is like the edge of the step and you don't want people to slide off or slip or anything like that. We could put a little piece of nosing on it. Let's try that. All right, let's let's put a let's try something. PL I'm going to draw a half inch and then maybe like another half inch here and then connect it down like that. How about that? I think I like that. Let's explode this box here. And let's drop. Let's uh, let me see something. All right. Yeah, I want this to be trimmed out. Good. Then I'm going to join this all together. Join. So now it's one shape. So this is going to be the profile for the step. And I'm pretty much going to copy this to all of these other steps. So I'm going to copy. Copy to that, copy to this, copy to this. To this. To this. To this. And I'm going to put it on. I want it to be on my landing as well. So I'm going to paste this here. I like to just hold on the control key and highlight like that. And then move. That's the easier way. Do the same thing on this side. I'm going to move it from here. All the way out to here. All right. So I think that looks good. That's all we need to do. Um, Looks like I did something wrong here. <laughs> I should have placed them at the top. Oh man. All right. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to move these over to the other side. So let's do that. So let's highlight all of our profiles and we're going to move them over from uh, this point. Make sure that your ortho mode is turned on because this can become a very tricky and we're going to move it over to the other side. So now it's on this side because what we're going to do is to sweep each of these profiles along this path. Okay. So let's type the command sweep and we're going to select our first object and then hit enter and then select the path that we want to sweep along, which would be this. And just like that, boom, our first one is done. And so we would continue to do that for the others. Sweep, click on a shape, click on your path, click on your shape, click on your path, click on your shape, click on your path. Just like that, just keep going. How cool is that? Now for this one, I'm going to just extrude. So EXT, enter, and I'm going to extrude it to the other side. Eight foot six, yeah. So that would be the width of that stairs. All right, good. So now, if I should go ahead and turn off the stairs layer, 
and let's go to conceptual and see what we have this is what we would have all right and so all of your steers have that wonderful profile that we designed and now we have a nice looking steers so what i'm going to do now is to apply some material to this steers so that it can look nice but before i do that what i would like to do is to group the entire thing so highlight and then type group hit enter so that when i click on it it's all selected as one object and then what i will do is to go to my render tab and click on material browser and this is where i can scroll through the autodesk library to find a material of choice so you know i'm going to choose a wood because i think the wood looks good and i will just scroll through the uh the different material here and try to choose one that we think would be suitable so let's try this one so what you want to do is to drag it up to the top here so that it becomes a part of your document material and then we would click on this entire thing go over to material and we would choose our new material but if you notice it's not showing here and that's because we are in the conceptual mode so we would have to go over to the realistic mode and this would show us what we want to see all right so that's looking pretty good to me um i am going to put this in perspective so this is what your staircase would look like if you were to follow these steps and of course i have another file open up here where i played around with a couple of other designs so as you can see here, I have a straight flight steer and see what that could look like. And of course we have this other one here with a couple of extra steps at the base here, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, it's flowing from all the way uh, from the second floor. And then this one is similar to the one that we just did. And so there are, you know, there are various ways that you can design your flowing steers. So definitely go ahead and test it out play around with it and I hope that you like this video. So that brings us to the end of this video today. I do hope that you learned something and if you did, you know what to do already, hit that like button and I know that you have subscribed already so I'll let, I'll, I won't let say you should subscribe but remember to comment down below your questions, your concerns and any other ideas you may have. Shout out to the patrons on my Patreon page and uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Big up on yourself.